Hello everyone and welcome back to another Babbling Irons video with myself, Mike and Sloth today. A little bit of a debate, uh, Lucas Pakatar, Declan Rice, who's more important to West Ham and would losing Paqueta in the summer have a bigger impact than when we lost Declan Rice last summer because it's looking like a potential possibility. Obviously, Paqueta's played down the rumours of Man City in the press saying he's focused on West Ham and he respects the club. But we know deep down that Man City are probably going to come back circulating in the summer and it's going to be difficult to keep hold of him with his performances so far this season. So it's an interesting question. Um, saw it on social media today. Paqueta or Declan Rice? Who do you think is more important to that team? And, you know, the impact of losing uh, one or the other is more, is bigger. That, that's, the, that's the main question. So who wants to go first? Who has, who has the first opinion on this? So, <clears throat> right, let's get it right before we have any conversation. Devlin Rice is a world-class player and was quality for West Ham. And we got a very good amount of money for him. That that that's about it, right? I'm going to stop there. Truth is, though, he was a replaceable player. Very, very good, but we found a way in which to replace him. And now I know people will probably disagree with that. However, that argument I don't think is false in that when we got rid of Declan Rice or when we sold Declan Rice, the one thing we needed to do was to improve our goals and also become defensively resilient or more resilient than we were last year. Resiliency hasn't necessarily been a great thing. However, the goals we've brought in from Ward Prowse, the assist we brought in from Ward Prowse, which is part of that Declan Rice money, that's you know what we always said needed two players uh, to replace Declan Rice, and he was one half of that. Alvarez has come in has been absolutely instrumental in how we build up. And obviously, when we, he's not in the team, we're a far weaker team as opposed to, say, Ward Prowse in recent weeks. Yeah. So you could argue that out of the Declan Rice money, we got two players for what, three quarters of the price of, of Rice and we covered Rice. I don't think we were ever that scared of losing him out of us. I know, we, I know some other fans were, but I don't think we ever really were because I think we felt that there were players you could bring in. No, that's not to say that Paqueta, you can't replace him. Uh, however, I think the problem is with a player like Piquetta, it takes far more money or far much more money to bring in. And again, you probably need two players in which to do that. And whilst he doesn't necessarily have as many goals or assists as we would probably want, I think it's the other kind of intangible things about him in, in that there's an aura when he gets on the ball. When he's not in the team, we just do not win. Um, he's is that the same with story with Rice when he weren't in the team? Uh, no, but I think, I, think was. Was also, I think there was also a couple of games where we actually played better and actually, in fact, Suchek looked far better. So, you know, there was a lot of what we also said last year is that there was a lot of an overindulgence in Rice, which also led to maybe some deficiencies in our in the overall team. Yeah. We brought out the best in Rice, but he didn't necessarily bring out the best in the overall team, which is why we sometimes struggled. And I do think that there's a bigger aura around Paqueta in terms of when he's on the ball and what he does in a game. And that level of excitement, all that player that gets you up on the edge of the seat. Rice was always a player that you commended, said was brilliant and very rarely ever had a bad game. However, you didn't get excited when he had it. With Paqueta, I think that's one of the other intangible things when you talk about how important they are. It's also that figure that they present from a maybe a bit of a throwback to old West Ham and... You know, I, think that's that harsh. I think that's harsh on Rice because especially, you know, the season before he left, you know, you think of the types of goals he scored. Obviously, the season before he scored that goal in Europa League, he scored the goal in the Conference League. You know, he started to score from outside the box a lot more. Paqueta, again, he's only on three goals this season. He I is. But again, I think it's, it's the overall skill, the overall ability to pull everyone together. He makes the entire squad better. No one... No one's game is, uh, I guess, impacted detrimentally by him being in the team. We saw with Rice Suchek game was in the last 18 months as we gave more freedom and, and responsibilities, you could argue, to Rice. Yeah, and that's right and wrong that we did that. And I don't have a problem with saying that I'm wrong in this because I, I even admit partially I am probably slightly wrong in this, but also I do feel that 
certain certain aspects of our game were hindered by an indulgence in Rice. Now that's maybe not Rice's fault, but there was an indulgence which maybe impacted us overall in, the, in you know last year. I would say more, and particularly Suchek, and we've seen this year with Rice not in the team. How much Suchek has maybe come a bit more to the fore, the four, got his goals, etc. And I think Piquetta is also a player that allows players to to come out and play and do things because of the way he plays and and just yeah. the confidence he brings to the team overall. How do you view it, Slough? Because obviously Rice was you know one of the key assets for for a minute, for a number of years at West Ham. Um, obviously became captain at the club as well. How do you see the difference between obviously if Piquetta was to leave this summer and the, and the the gap he would leave? Do you think it would be a bigger gap and harder to replace than it was uh, for Declan Rice in the summer? I think when you're talking about what you're replacing with Paqueta, you're talking about a player who wins you games by himself or with moments of magic and things that we saw in like you know the Europa Conference League, uh, the final. And that pass he plays through, I don't think Declan Rice makes that pass. Um, and that's, you know, it's not discrediting Rice's ability on the ball. I just don't think he sees that pass or it's plays. Different type of player, isn't he? Exactly. And it's, I think we got a we got a better defensive midfielder, just out and out defensive midfielder in Alvarez for what we want. Um, someone who's who's far more comfortable just sitting in front of the back four and and attempting to break up play, winning the ball. And for for what we want, I think Alvarez is a better fit. Now, Declan Weiss was easier to replace, in my opinion. However, I think when you're looking at replacing Paqueta, there's a lot more options and a lot more ways to go about it, but they're going to cost you more money. And say we look to replace Paqueta by adding goals into the side and we go out and buy someone like Dominic Solanke, like as part of that £86 million release clause, then we have money left over to play with that we could potentially put towards Morgan Gibbs-White. So you've got these two players, like we've said last season with Weiss, who you can replace. Now, do I think that they individually have um, the magic that Paqueta does? No. But do they have the ability to win matches, score goals and get fans off their feet? Yes, they do. So it's a very, very tricky one. Personally, for me, I think Paqueta's harder to replace. But I think in modern football, we need to, to move past this notion that someone's impossible to place unless you are really struggling at the bottom of the table and you realise, wow, that... that to get a player of that calibre is going to be like a needle in a haystack. And I think we well, to, when we... Not yeah, everyone's when, replacing Ronaldo and Messi, you know. It's, it's, it's such a point. It, those two, they're probably the only two players you'd always say are ultimate and utter irreplaceables. But everyone else in world football is, you could argue, is replaceable. And there are going to be sometimes, as we've seen, that big player moving can actually be even bigger and better for a club, for the team, because it essentially opens up uh, opportunities for others to step up, but also means that you can strengthen, which can then bring out the best qualities in, in other players. You can maybe create more balance. And I think that's that's point. I, and what I find with Piquetta, he gives us more balance than maybe yeah. Rice did. I think if you'd have took Rice out, I don't think it necessarily would have impacted our ability to play on the ball. I know that sounds probably really harsh, but I don't think it would necessarily have um, impacted massively. It would have had an impact, but not to maybe the levels when we see Paquette not in, because we really struggle to function at all, to, to find or to have someone kind of getting and collecting the ball. As much as we see with, see with Alvarez, you know, Rice was important to our build-up play, but it was also pretty predictable. It always came out to the left-hand side, dropped deep, and then, you know, it's kind of, he had to try and find Paquetta. We couldn't find Paquetta. We kind of went backwards or sidewards. So it was, <laughs> it's one of those, I think with Paquetta, you do get the frustrations because he does take those risks and makes passes where you go, why are you doing that? But because he does that, he also excites us. And you also give him a bit more leeway because it's, you're taking risks. You are doing things that maybe you shouldn't do, which would infuriate, infuriate Sussex fans, infuriates even the manager we've had more say. 
But I also think by that exact same token, you are like, when he pulls one off, he's like, I mean, yeah, he can't pass five yards today. But tell you what, that, that ball that he just pinged there and he dinked it right outside with his right foot, just chipped it over the top of the defence and someone's ran on and scored. You just, everything else just casually goes by the wayside. It's, you know, mm. we saw the same, same happen with Payette, right? He would have bad games. Yeah. But he would Very rarely. <laughs> but he'd whip in a quality free kick or he would do a, a, a little pirouette in the middle of the pitch and then pass a pass a ball onto someone to split a complete you know defensive midfield and it just all of a sudden it's he's the best player in the world. You know, it is that that uh, he's because it's not quite where Payette was in terms of he, he just absolutely fawn for him <laughs> the moment he does something. But he's the closest we've had to Paqueta. No, sorry, to to like a Payette. Yeah, I think as well with with obviously when Rice left, we we've never really had that replacement for him. So when Rice got injured, it was like, how can we kind of make this work? And it's the same with Paqueta. When Paqueta's been out injured, we don't have that kind of replacement to step in and and fill that gap, which is probably why it's uh, again going to be a massive, massive summer if we do let him go, which is probably going to be for a big fee anyway, probably around 85, 90 million. So whoever gets that money to play with. We can get the recruitment right. I think we've shown we can do it. Like you said, with Rice, we brought in Alvarez, Suchek, uh, Abor Prowse, and even Kudus with, with that money. So, you know, you're bringing in three quality players there to, to replace one player who was very important to the club, but we've kind of moved past that now. And obviously, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Baqueta because I feel like we've become a little bit too reliant on what he does from an offensive perspective and defensively. Um, which has maybe caused us some issues, especially when when he wasn't playing in January. I mean, we we really struggled. I don't think we won a game. So, yeah, it's uh, it kind of shows the importance. I think we're all kind of in agreement that Paqueta's probably going to be harder to replace because it's going to cost more money to to find that player profile. And you know, it may be that we don't have European football next year, which makes the, the job even harder to recruit and replace. So, yeah, there's a lot of circumstances involved, but. Let us know in the comments what you think about the 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 kind of debate we've had here. Do you think Rice was more important than Paqueta or vice versa? Um, and who's going to hit harder if Paqueta does leave uh, West Ham in the summer? Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel as always. And lads, until the next one. Come on, you guys. <laughs>